Hello, my name is Dan Wakade and today we're going to set up a skateboard. Uh, so what we have here is uh, the grip tape, the skateboard itself, the wheels, the trucks, the bearings and uh, the shock pads. And we got the hardware here and the grip cutter, the tool and some stickers. Uh, we're starting off with the skateboard. Uh, what you want to do first is uh, you want to search for the nose. The nose, you can tell, is always a little bit longer, a little bit higher as well. And as well with the Skate Deluxe skateboards, you have the logo up front. You want to get the grip off the uh, paper. And then you you want to put the grip on the board, but you just want to make sure you don't get air bubbles. Uh, with, this, with this grip in particular, it's really good because it has small holes, as you can see, so you will never have any air bubbles. But with other grip, what you can do is just lay it on the board like this. Make sure you have some grip on both sides. Okay, and just lay it down. And then with two hands in the middle, just spread it out like this. That's how I personally always do it. And then, um, if you don't have a screwdriver driver or whatsoever, you just take the truck and you just cut the sides a little bit, you just scrape the sides a little bit. So what you want to make sure is that you uh, scrape these sides real good because this straight edge you can do it real easy but these where the concave starts are a little bit harder so just want to make sure you do that real well as well for the nose and tail you got to make sure you do it all real well and then uh, you're going to cut it what i most of the time do is i uh, cut it in just right where the concave starts so you don't have to do it all at once. So that makes it just a little bit easier. So especially with this grip, it's a little bit thick. So that makes it uh, cut real easy. All right, so after you cut up the whole grip, what I most of the time do, I just take, just take the part of the nose of the tail, fold it together, and just try to scratch it a little bit so it sticks real good. Sometimes when I have, uh, when I have old shoes, I just uh, scratch the top of the grip, like a really a small bit. So, so it's not that grippy for your shoes. So, and uh, there we have it. This is a skateboard with grip. When you finish cutting off your grip, your board should look like this. And then uh, what you want to do straight after is put in the hardware. So what I most of the time do is uh, I take this little tool, which you always get when you buy the hardware. You always get this with it. I just Put it on top of one hole and just smash it like this. And then uh, do it for all the holes. And then right after you just press on it with your thumb or with any finger because otherwise you might cut the grip. And then what you do after, just put in the hardware. What I most of the time do, I always have one colored hardware, one color screw. So for this time it's uh, gold, I always put it on the, on the right, front right. Because then I always know what the front is and what the back of the skateboard is. If you finish that, we're gonna set up the trucks. Okay, for the trucks, it's really important that the kimping, that's that bit of it, it's always on the inside. So it should look something like this. And then what you want to do after is just put the bolts on the screw. So this bolt is gold, so it should be on the gold screw. And then the exact same you do at the uh, 
other truck. So as you can see, I'm finished putting on my trucks. When you're finished, the skateboard should look something like this, with the kimping on the inside and uh, uh, make sure your screws are not, sti not sticking out too much because otherwise it might affect your skating. Uh, if you feel like it, you can also use shock pads. Uh, they look something like this and you can put them under your truck because then your truck is a little bit more far away from your skateboard so the wheel won't hit your skateboard so that way you won't like uh, get wheel bite or anything. But uh, I most of the time don't use it. Most of the time longboarders and cruisers are using it because then you can like carve a little bit more. All right, so next thing you want to do is uh, put the wheels on the truck. Uh, what we're going to do uh, is just make sure you get this ring off and then uh, get a wheel and two bearings. What you want to make sure is that the bearings has two sides. One side has a cover and one side has not a cover. This one is just an open side. And uh, you just want to make sure the cover side is outside because that way there's no dirt getting into your bearings. So uh, I just put them both with the cover down, facing down on the truck, put the wheel over it and just push it real hard so the bearing gets in. So we do that two times and then as you can see it works. And then we get that ring. There are always two rings on the truck. You get one out and just put the wheel over it and then do another ring over it, over the bearings and just Tighten it up a little bit. And what you want to make sure is that you don't tighten them too much. You still want to have them rolling, so just make sure there's a little bit space between the bearings and the screw. Just do that four times. So, um, as you can see, I put on all my wheels. Um, what you also can do is Put these things in between your bear bearings when you put them in the wheel. Um, they're, I think, for uh, making the wheel more stable. Well, uh, you always get them when you buy bearings, but I choose to never use them uh, because it's just more easy and it's more quick to set it up like this. So I finished the whole setup, putting it on. Um, what you just want to make sure is that you don't have any air bubbles. Uh, with this grip, it's really easy because it has all holes in it, but just, you know, just want to make sure. Uh, you want to make sure that you cut your grip real well and just uh, scrape it a little bit afterwards. And uh, also you can tighten up your trucks more or you can loosen it up so you can turn easier. And uh, yeah, you just want to make sure there's a little bit space between the screw and the bearing. And then, as well, you can put on a few stickers. You always get these when you buy a board at Tate Lux. You can put your stickers on the board if you want to, and then uh, I think it's time to go skate.